The federal government is getting involved in hopes of putting an end to a rising number of measles cases nationwide. New at 530 Action News Jack's Drew Wilder reports the head of infectious diseases is blaming the anti-vax movement. The CDC said the measles virus was eradicated from the U.S. nearly 20 years ago. But now measles is back and medical experts say everyone should be concerned. Measles virus is one of the most contagious viruses that we know among the pathogens that confront mankind. Between the start of the year and February 21st, the CDC says there have been 159 confirmed measles cases in the United States. Is it potentially deadly? Absolutely. There is one common thread. According to the CDC, 75% of recent cases are people who have not been vaccinated. Dr. Nancy Messonnier says the anti vaxxer movement is one reason this potentially deadly virus is back. Vaccine hesitancy is the result of a misunderstanding of the risk and seriousness of disease combined with misinformation regarding the safety and effectiveness of vaccines. A small movement of parents who are choosing not to vaccinate their kids. There are unfounded concerns the MMR vaccine can cause brain inflammation called encephalitis. Can measles vaccine cause encephalitis? Uh, the vaccine? The vaccine, no. There's no cases of it. You can hear people in the hearing shout their disagreement. Dr. Messonnier, though, backing up Dr. Fauci. In, in healthy children, MMR vaccine does not cause brain swelling or encephalitis. The CDC wants to be clear that the vast majority of parents are vaccinating their kids. If parents have any questions about the safety or effectiveness of any vaccine, they should ask their doctor. In Washington, Drew Wilder, CBS 47, Action News Jax.